Hello, John. I did what I promised you. And I did it because I like what you've dedicated your whole life to helping people. This is worthy of respect. Good luck with your work, John. Sir D. On the plane, when we were flying from Jakarta to Jayapura, I met an interesting man, John Cutts. John Cutts is a citizen. John was met by his family at the Centony Airport. My daughter, grew up in the jungle. This is my daughter, this is my granddaughter. John Cutts has lived in Indonesia's easternmost province, West Papua, since he was two years old. His parents, Bill and Gracie Cutts, missionaries of the Christian Missionary Alliance, first set foot in the Papuan region in 1950. And their missionary work in the isolated villages of Pogapa turned into John's lifelong mission, having a great impact on the general well-being of the money people. They were some of the first people of Western origin to visit the isolated highlands inhabited by hundreds of different ethnic tribes. Currently, the Munis recognize John as an important part of their lives, a respected figure who determines the direction for progress and peace in the community. Although John is unmistakably American in genetics and appearance, he embodies money in heart, manners and character. Here is what John says about himself. I am so grateful for the fact that um, my missionary mom and dad adopted I was privileged to be brought to Papu at the age of two by my missionary parents. The culture and language of the tribe became a part of me from an early age through daily communication with the Mani. My childhood, when I was growing up in the money family, was filled with classes and trials incomparable with the antics of an ordinary American boy. I was taught to make arrows, traps, huts, and even braided bracelets from various natural materials. Then I returned to the USA and entered the university. I worked with airplanes to make a living. In addition, during my stay in the USA, I received the title of a private pilot and a helicopter pilot, and this only strengthened my love for flying and the desire to somehow use flights to help isolated Papuans. My life is so deeply rooted in Papu that my heart prompted me to return and continue my parents' missionary work in this region. Eventually, my wife and I returned to our home in Papu, where we raised our family. During his time in Papu, John helped communities build a total of 16 airstrips in various areas, opening villages to missionaries, including teachers, pastors, and health workers. John sent a plane built in the USA to Papu. The aircraft will be used to train Papuans to fly, which is a long-standing dream of John and the villagers to further improve access to many remote areas. John's family selflessly shared a piece of themselves with the people of money, and their entire journey was both dangerous and satisfying. The Cuts family's desire to bring spiritual truth, education, and progress has earned them the respect of the money community. Wanting to nurture and multiply the seeds sown by his parents, he founded Village Heartbeat Foundation together with his wife Joy, whom he lovingly describes as a kind, energetic, and dedicated person. Thank you, God bless you all.